What's going on everybody? Welcome to the final day of the Fort Myers RV Show. Now by the time you're watching this, the Fort Myers RV Show is technically over, but don't worry, you can always click our link down below. If you see something that you like, travel trailer wise, because we will always extend show pricing. And even if the unit isn't here, we have show pricing on that unit, so just reach out to my team. Today we're in Fort Myers, and let me tell you something, it's really exciting because Fort Myers is a brand new store, we didn't acquire anybody, and we already have such amazing travel trailer brands. Heartland Cortera, Brinkley, Astoria, Astoria, Alliance Delta, all on day one of business. And we're gonna get started right here, Well, with the Alliance Delta 294RK. This is my biggest regret in life. You understand biggest why? in life not biggest in life but let me tell you something it's a great floor plan this is the floor plan that i should have gotten yeah the alliance delta you know you have the awesome exterior storage you got your awning switches on this side double awnings right here as though on the outside goodyear endurance tires right here it's a little tv but what makes it special is the inside Look at this, 63 discounted to 45995 That's an awesome sale price. Yes, sir. Inside, you got a nice couch here. Well, two couches, really. These are recliners. Kitchen in the back. Very nice big rear kitchen for a travel trailer. Yes, sir. Let me get started back here. Okay. Phenomenal rear kitchen. Phenomenal space here. Yeah. So it doesn't bottleneck quite like yours. Right. You know what I'm saying? And there's something missing. And that is there's no dinette in here. Right. Not the bar stools, which I love. You know what I'm saying? Very nice rear kitchen. This is where you can keep everything going. Nice little fridge. And then over here, since there is no dinette, there's two sofas. Now, I have a 262 RB, which we do have one of those here. Here's the problem. This is my sofa in the 262 right. RB. Because you have a dinette. Correct. My Unigirl does not like to sit on this. Yep too short for her right so when we're camping she's laying on the ground yep and i don't want my unit girl laying on the ground i want her next to her dad right so this is the unit that i should have gotten because then i could have sat right here and then now my unit girl had plenty of space to lay down on the sofa so we could be watching tv together and all these chairs do recline out and we got a prime position taking a look at the tv fireplace right there we'll go stand in that shower okay it's so nice to meet everybody in fort myers and i feel like we're not as useful right talk to me well awesome shower nice and wide good depth they didn't put a radius shower and they put a skylight the whole width of the uh shower this definitely passes Bing! that's shower test seal of approval Come on out, Will. Okay. But as I'm saying, I don't feel as useful being here. Right. Not like the Super Show. But here's what is good. We, we are able to sit down and have conversations with customers. You know what I'm saying? Right. Viewers. We had one guy who was talking to us for over an hour. Yep. He knows who he is. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, let's just say he knew a guy. You know what I'm yep. saying? Right here, we do have a queen size bed with tons of storage all the way around. But yeah, that's what's super nice about this show. It is very show, nice. Is that we get to talk and connect more and, you know, really help customers and answer questions or just talk about life. Yeah. Now, here's the next one. Well, this is a Brinkley 295 Air. Don't get the price. Okay. Or the Brinkley police will come crying. Right. All right, go check out the inside. <clears throat> All right. The inside in here is just beautiful. I love it. Now, here's what I will say. This price is very good for yep. this unit. We do have these nice sofas here. Again, no dinette. Yep. That is going to be what you guys are going to be seeing in the future. Right. But the future is now. Right. Very nice. We sold two of these back to back. Yep. Both Matt's RV Reviews customers. Hi, y'all. And they both did the deal at the same time. Yeah. Nice TV fireplace here. Check out the little bunk room here. Okay. Again, this isn't my favorite floor Oops. plan. Nice little bunk room here. Plenty of wardrobe space. Double over doubles. For sure. And then, Will, show us this kitchen. Oh, kitchen. Yeah. So they, they definitely went with the same like feel as the regular um, Model C. 
huge pantry, same cabinetry and everything, good countertop space, huge kitchen island for a travel trailer is awesome. And then you still have all this countertop space as well. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Will. Okay. <clears throat> Man, in a travel trailer, they still use the non-core shower. Right, you, like even Alliance doesn't give you the encore right. shower. Not in the Delta, anyway. Right, maybe they will, you know, in a bigger uh, travel trailer. I don't know what you're talking about, Will. Nice wide shower, really good depth. Again, it's an encore, you guys know it passes. Bing! That's shower test yeah, seal of approval. Way. Not only that, we got a really nice, spacious bedroom. And it's just crazy how big this travel trailer is. How tall the ceilings are, it's yeah. absolutely fantastic. And it is at a fantastic price. Now normally we wouldn't show you two Deltas, but one, we're partial to Alliance. Yep. And you know what, it's okay to be partial to Alliance. And then two, this is the new floor plan, the 321. Right. So we've actually never seen this <clears throat> unit on the show, and I've never seen this unit till yesterday. Okay. It's forty six nine nine nine. Nice. By the way, our new store is one five five six five South Tamiami Trail, Fort Myers. There you go. And well, bunk rooms, bunk houses are always small, tight, and confined. Yeah, and not in here. This, space. this is awesome. This is very roomy, and again, this is a travel trailer. You yeah, know what me, I mean? Let me hit some hard angles here. Okay. This is absolutely big and spacious this comes out to make a bed but also you got this which all connects this way fantastic dusty we talk about flowometry all the right. time show us this kitchen okay this flowometry leading from the bunk room to the uh living area is huge it is now the one thing people might say about this is well, I want my kids to have space and privacy. Here's the deal, y'all. This, they're hearing through it anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, to have it all open and flow well, it's especially nice. if you have kids, very nice. What do we right. got going on here, Will? Now, typically, I don't like a U-shaped kitchen like this because, again, there's no flow in here. But they kind of did it right with, like, this peninsula and having plenty of room around. So, I actually really, really like that. Um, but yeah, again, they're, they're bringing all the same colors and everything over that they kind of use in a lot of their other products. Um, so yeah, very similar. Very nice. Coming on up here, we are going to have the same bathroom as the other Alliance Delta. Okay. And you know that's a prime poop position. Yep. And then, uh, again, same bedroom area as well. But, uh, yeah, again, we, we don't mean, go on out there, Well, we don't mean to show back-to-back -back Deltas. But when they're new floor plans, we're going to do that. Now let's check out this Heartland Corterra. Okay. This is the 28.1. What's going on? How you doing? And look at that price. It's beautiful. 60000 discounted to 36999 for an all-new super hot travel trailer. Yes. And then look at the interior colors. Now it is a little hard to see because of the lighting, but it right. is absolutely beautiful in here with the uh, blue lower cabinets and the corner bunks. Here's the new floor plans that they're coming out with for the Corterra. Bunk beds right here. Wow, look at that, very big shower. That is a plastic toilet though, womp Man. womp. Well, what do we got going on in here? What makes the Corterra different? In here, I love the colors, and Jen and I were talking about that the other day. I love this kind of reddish brown yep. furniture. Um, it just looks really nice. That's a trifold sofa. This drops down to make a bed. And then in the kitchen, you know, well, first, yeah, check this out. Like, this is really cool. Oh, wow. Really appreciate the honesty. <laughs> and then I love the blue blowers with the nice kind of wood. It's almost like wood. a dark tiki yeah, type of yeah. wood. You know what I'm saying? And it looks really good it with does the blue. Look very nice. And then here we have another door to the bedroom. Look at all that natural light that it lets in. Yeah. Fantastic. Perfect. We're on to the next one. Well, we're taking a look at some awesome travel. Okay. Trips. Oh, that's funny. What? 
They left all the awnings out. Yeah. Good thing it wasn't windy last night. Or somebody came early. No, nobody came early. Good morning, gentlemen. What's up, Good morning. Sam? Good morning. You want, you want, you ready? Me? Right, right now. Right now? You're on. You want to get thrown in the team? You're on the team. Introduce yourself. No, no, you don't want to. Yeah, no, no, you always talk no, about no, wanting talk to be about, on. I'm, I'm like, Shaq. <laughs> this is Shaq, he's on team. Shaq, show us this awesome 270 BH sure. Tracer. Come on, guys. He always gives me a hard <sighs> time for not throwing him on. Okay. What story MSRP are you on? 38. I'm from um, Mount Clements, Michigan. Okay. Yes. This one is a very, very top seller for us. Nice size bunk beds you can see over there. Yep. Nice double over doubles, nice storage underneath as well. Yes, sir. And then you have. Wow, oh, that's actually a huge shower for a travel trailer. Yeah, a huge shower yes. for plastic toilet. It's a plastic toilet. Yep. Shaq, you know how we feel about plastic toilets? Oh, I know that. <laughs> well, show us this kitchen here. Uh, look Tell at the kitchen. Nice yeah. size deep fridge. Tell me some reasons why somebody should be looking at a primetime tracer. So, the best thing about this one is you can see the kitchen counter. Look at this size of the kitchen counter. Yes. It's huge. Yep. Number one. Number two, you have you can sleep six to eight people in this one. Very nice. You have nice size bunk beds. This turns into a bed. Very nice. And I love the way that tabletop looks. Yes. Right. It's not real wood, but it is a natural looking wood. Yep. And it really pairs well with this um Yeah. Uh man. Frame? Frame. No, slide no. trim. Yes. Trim, yeah. yes. It pairs very well with the trim. Continue on. And you have a nice sofa over here that turns into a bed. Show us. And you can That's my favorite here. sofa. It's one man operation, not a big size. Here's like there you go. And with all those cushions, it does look a lot more comfy Absolutely. than a traditional jackknife. Absolutely. So, again, just put it back. That's it. So easy. That is Perfect. easy, yeah. A little bit of entertainment center, Furion. This is where you would mount a TV, a little bit of storage here. Yeah. And we have the bedroom back there. Okay. You want to show us <clears> another <throat> one? Sure. How nice queen size bed We've here. We looked at the deltas. Tons of storage all the way around. Can you show us the open <clears> range? <throat> sure. All right, let's take a look. Guys. So we do have the open range travel trailer here. Okay. I didn't even see that one. And that is the biggest one. Shaq, what can you tell us about who is Open Range? So, the Open Range, first of all, let me show you this. Okay. I hope it's not. Look very, at very the nice. Over here. A lot of storage. Cooktop. Nice it has your top. sink over here, nice size oh, fridge. Oh, plumb through as well. Plumb through sink. I now love that. At, this is the Open Range. This is going to compete with the. Brinkley Model Z Air. Yeah. Um, it's funny, when the Model Z Air came out, a lot of people are all like, oh, it's better than Alliance. An Alliance and a Model Z Air aren't even in the same category. No, not at all. Uh, the Model Z Air competes with this, the reflection, yep. the open range, and then Brinkley Model Z yeah. Air. But okay. this is a really big, nice, almost a full-time style of travel trailer. Right. And so the open range um, belongs to the Jayco family. Yes. So it's a big name. Yes. Okay. Uh, and once you go inside, you will see the quality. They have not compromised on the quality. Nice quality. $94,000 MSRP. Fortunately, we are General RV, which means we got to discount it $34,000 to a sale price of $59,999. That's huge. Show us what we got going on inside. Okay, guys, do not get confused. This is not a fifth wheel, but it looks right. like a fifth right. wheel. Get in there, Will. Okay. Look at this head height with Will and Shaq. Yep, tons of head, <clears throat> tons of head height in here. <clears throat> Goal! <laughs> nice. I love it. And then stand in the slide out, Will. What's, I get my head in there. Okay, okay, but still, really big travel trailer. height, deep slide outs. Continue yes. on. Uh, again, you have a nice, if some family member shows up, a guest shows up, you have a place for them to sleep. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice full size bed. Okay. Um, you have Thomas Pine, nice recliners over here. And this is. 
Oh, it's electric. It's electric. Yeah. Power, yeah. Yep. Very nice. And those theater seats do sit directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. Yes. Not only that, I'm noticing the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system, yep. just like a fifth wheel. And we have a huge dinette and flush floor slide on this side. Yes. Very nice. Uh, again, nice pantry over here. You can put a lot of stuff over here. Yes. Okay. Yes. A nice size island. So it's not too big. It's not too small. It's the perfect size that you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. So keep in mind, you have a working area over here. You have nice working over there. So you have plenty of space over here. You can put your coffee pot, air fryers, whatever you want to do with it. And not only that, to top it off with a huge residential style refrigerator, this really is an amazing travel trailer for full timing. And a little coffee nook. Little coffee nook there. Will, we need you to stand in that shower, sir. It's actually a big shower again. Of course it is. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, plenty of width. You even have this. This is more like a mid-pro fifth wheel shower. It really is. It, it does you know, a fantastic job with the size. Yeah. This definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. And then to wrap it on up, we do have a king size bed on a slide out Dang. like a fifth wheel on here. Hi guys, I'm here. Hey! So this is not a magic. There are two entrants over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, the best thing that I love, love, love about this trailer that it has a nice open space, just like a fifth wheel, 42 feet, 50 feet trailer. Yes. Huge, huge open space over here. Now, with that said, I do highly, highly, highly recommend you tow this with at least a three-quarter ton truck. Yes. Just because of how big and heavy this trailer is with lots of front tongue weight. With that said, there might be some half ton second tow this, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Just get a three-quarter ton with this. And is this like a little desk area? Yeah, this could be a working station. Wow. You know, um... They have nice storage over here as well, as you can see. Very, very nice. Well, are you just hanging out in the shower? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shaq, how do you like this weather better I, than Mount Clemens, Michigan? I love it. I love it, guys. I, Michigan is good. I love Michigan, too. But this weather, I'll take it any time. Perfect. Thank it's you so awesome. much for joining Thank us. You guys. Thank how you does somebody much. get in contact with you? Uh, they can come here. We're at the show. No, no, with you after the video. Uh, after the video, I mean, I'm from Mount Clemens, Michigan. Okay. Um, you know, you can contact me, uh, General RV, Mount Clemens. Okay. Do you know the store phone number? Uh, I can give you my cell phone number. Yeah, well, please. Why not? 313-899-9689. Make sure you tell him you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. <laughs> And what brands do you sell out of the Mount Clemens oh, store? We have, we have some nice brands. We have Jake over there. We oh. have Brand Design over there. Nice. Uh, we have all the best ones, guys. Perfect. So make sure you reach out to them and tell them you saw them on Matt's RV Reviews. Sure. We're about to take a look at some more units, but first got to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Thank you, guys. <laughs> It's officially 2024, and that means it's RV show season. Hundreds and thousands of people across the country are going to be buying and trading in their RVs. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at an entry-level travel trailer or a top-of-the-line motorhome. One way that RV manufacturers love to save money is by putting in a cheap mattress. And that's because they know that you're just going to take the mattress out and replace it anyway with something that fits your sleeping style. That's why we partnered with RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company. They saw a huge opportunity in the industry to make custom sized mattresses that are perfect for RVers. They're able to cut out the middleman markups because they have a factory in Arizona. And what that means is they're able to give you the highest quality mattress at a factory direct price. Not only that, they do free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee and they'll ship it straight to your house or campground. I've been using my mattress from RVMattress.com for two years now in both my Class C motorhome and travel trailer, and I absolutely love it. Click our link down below and check out their website and use promo code MATT for 25% off your order. Thank you so much to RVMattress.com for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue the video. Great, now Shaq made a really good point that the open range is part of the Jayco family. But Jayco really doesn't have anything like an open range. Right. Um, or like what's called an open range, okay? 
a Highland Ridge open range. But there is other brands within the open range family that's very similar to Jayco, like this, which is another open range, but this is their stick and tin. This is just like the Jayco J Flight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is a 26 BH with no slide outs. I mean, this is identical to the uh, Jayco. I mean, we're, we're at $22,999. That's phenomenal. Which is a phenomenal price. I mean, 200 bucks a month. Yeah. With, you know, the right down payment and the right. Um, a credit support. and all that. Yeah. How did, what, what do you see in there? Yeah, so no slides in here, but even given that, you still have a really nice big dinette here in the back you have double over double bunks right here in the back next to the bunks it's a little dark back here sorry guys but you have the toilet which this bathroom is going to be tight nothing's probably going to pass um shower and then sink on the outside to help just open it up a little bit because again it's already tight in there so you can see that and then right off of that, across from the dinette, is the kitchen. So you have your uh, refrigerator, stove, oven, microwave, all that good stuff here. Next to that is a jackknife sofa right here. And then up front is a queen-size bed. I mean, this is an awesome, great, small, entry-level starter family travel trailer. Yeah. It's small enough, it's lightweight enough. And the, the, there's no slide outs, so less things can go wrong with it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And at that price point, it really gets people off the ground, off the tent, exactly, and into something fantastic. So here's a chaser. We're gonna skip over that. Okay. And we're gonna take a look at this awesome front kitchen, Dutchman Astoria. I love this floor plan. This is a phenomenal floor plan with the front kitchen. Yeah. And what you're able to get with that is you get that rear bedroom slide out in the rear. Yep. So you can see um, two recliners, nice big U-shaped dinette. Yes. And there's that kitchen up front. Perfect. I love that huge windshield up there. Love it, man. I mean, it's so out of the way. It flows so It does, nice. yeah. Tons of countertop space here. And again, a huge U-shaped dinette. Drops down to make a bed. Flush floor slide outs. Very nice. White looking wood. Not white looking, but white wood. White trim all the way around. Entertainment center with storage back here. And what the heck's going on there, Will? Prep for a washer and dryer. In a travel trailer? Yep. <clears throat> Fantastic. Little pantry. Nice pantry. Yes, sir. And then we got our sofa, which sits directly across from our TV entertainment center. Right. Coming on through here. Love this. Dual sinks. Wow. Big shower. Nice toilet. Now, this toilet should have been angled some, because I can tell that's not a prime position. For sure, yeah. But you know what? It is what it is. This is still a fantastic trailer. Another big doorway to the bedroom, and then look at all the storage back here. Fantastic Tons storage, storage king-size bed, storage slide-out, two AC units, radius roof. What more do you want? This is a great, this would be a great travel trailer to full-time in. If you want a travel trailer. For sure. I sure. love this floor plan. Not only that, this is Dutchman, right? So they give yep. you a few extra things. Let me uh, let me show everybody. You know, Dutchman's definitely under the radar, Will. Yeah. But look, look at what they give you. Okay. Every Astoria gets an instant hot tankless water heater. Love that. The keyless entry from Lion yep. Smith or whatever. The backup camera already installed. Custom furniture, home series, blah, blah, blah. Solid steps. Lighting underneath, and slide toppers. Wow. Even on the travel trailers? Even on this travel trailer. That's awesome. It's very, very nice features. Come on. We got some more to look at. And then those are other story us. We got multiple floor plans. Yeah, of course. Which is very nice. Uh, and let's take a look at this uh, Winnebago M series. Okay. 28999. This is very similar to what Traveling Robert has. Right. Here's what's crazy, well. Yeah? We moved to Fort Myers, and all of a sudden we have Winnebago, which is one right. of the most Right, I know. I, don't, I actually don't understand how we got that. Dinette, sofa here, rear kitchen. This is made for somebody who has like a Colorado, like yeah. Traveling Robert does. Nice dinette, little dinette. Yep. But it's like perfect size, again, for that smaller size size uh, travel trailer 
Here's what is huge is the shower. I love that. <clears throat> Toilet looks like it's in a good spot. Nice sink, a little bit of countertop space, storage, all that good stuff. And then up front, you have a nice queen size bed. Really good storage. I love the windows in here. Really helps keep it light and bright. Ready, team? Ready. Just like that. Come on. Oh, shit. Yep, bring your smoothie. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Say hi to America. Hi, how are y'all? Who are you? I'm Jackie from General RV. And what store will you be working out of? GTM, which is Fort Myers. So if you guys are in the Fort Myers area and you're unable to come to the show, make sure when you go in, you stop, you ask for Jackie. Do you prefer Jacqueline or Jackie? Jackie. Jackie. Yep, absolutely. You want to show us that travel trailer over there? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's take a look. Cool. So this is the all new Winnebago Access, and I actually don't think we've seen this floor plan. Thank you. Right this way. Oh, it's a fun <laughs> floor plan. So tell us what we got going on here, Jackie. So right here is a nice aluminum uh, uh, corrugated siding. Corrugated siding. Yep. Yep. And it is wood framed as well, which is really really nice. It's something that Winnebago just came up with, and it's their top of the line right now. Nice. I love the Winnebago travel trailers, the stick and tin. I love what they did. Yeah, they did an amazing job. Has a lot of storage. So for a smaller travel trailer, for a couple's coach, amazing on storage. This is one of the top sellers right now. Perfect. Cool. Now, you might be new to General RV, but you're not new to the RV industry. No. And you come from the service side of the industry. So how exciting is it to be on the sales side? Amazing. I love it. I okay. love talking to people and not getting yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. But it, it does come... It does come with a benefit because Jackie knows the manufacturers. Yeah. She knows these components. She's worked with GE and Furion and Lipper. So she's going to have a level of knowledge yeah. that even me and Will don't have right. from working on that side of the industry. And so when you get to talk to her in person, she knows what's the better brands to help you with and the pros and cons, especially on that customer service end. Because again, it's not if something goes wrong, it's when something goes wrong. Right. And Jackie knows who to contact. God Absolutely. forbid something goes wrong. Absolutely. And I'm able to like walk you guys through on anything that's malfunctioning at the time too and help you guys out because I've had other customers that have had the same issues. She's full service. <laughs> Show us this bathroom and so, everything that you're seeing here. The bathroom here um, is really, really nice. We have a nice uh, shower that you just step over. Um, it's pretty big for a smaller camper as well. Yeah, it is a huge it's shower. Very roomy, huge shower. Shower pan is really nice and sturdy. Has plenty of storage, which I've noticed a lot of couples complaining about the storage in the, in the yeah. bathrooms not having that. We have this beautiful sink here. It is deep, so you're able to uh, use for your dishes or anything like that, or vegetables themselves as well. Uh, plenty of storage. We have uh, cabinets here just to hide your garbage. So okay. that's a little, little little area there that's really great. Um, the three burner stove. Uh, smaller campers really don't have the three burner stove, which is really, really nice. And a lot of people don't realize that the front burner actually is the hottest burner that we have. Oh, here. I didn't really? know that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. It actually gives you the hottest burner is going to be your front burner on your three stoves, which is cool. really, really nice. Perfect. Yeah. So over here we have a really nice fridge. Back in the day, the refrigerators took about 48 hours to 72 right. hours to refrigerate. Now, not with these compressor up, fridges. No, now they're within an hour. So while you're camping or you're trying to hook up and go, you just put it to your truck, get it going. While you're packing your your camper up, your, and it'll cool your stuff will quick. be cool yeah. by the time you're heading out. So yeah. that way you don't have to worry about having ice and getting a cooler ready and all that stuff too. Now a lot of people are worried about the uh, compressor refrigerators, saying that they're you know well we don't know how they're going to be. Would you say that um, they're better than the uh, what was it called? Not Aspergers, but uh, a spy, not Aspire. What was it two called? Two-way. I call it the, the two-way. Way. Yeah, yeah, I but, think but these are better. what was that better. called with the propane? Yeah, I know what you're saying. But, yeah. Uh, I, I know, yeah, the two-way fridge, which a lot of campers know them as that as well, um, it's so much better. This is so much better than the other ones. So you're not wasting your propane. You're not dealing with all that hassle of, oh, my gosh, I have to have extra extra cans of propane in my, yep. in my unit. Those broke, too, to be yeah, honest. Those, like, I don't hear about these compressor fridges breaking nearly as much. Right, like those two-way fridges, they have to be level. Yeah. And if you buy from General RV, which is the... 
greatest thing ever. We have this program called Keep You Camping. Right. And that is phenomenal. Not many places have that. I've never right. heard of any place having that. And I've worked for two companies. Other competitors never had that. Yep. So Keep You Camping, you come in at, to any of our general RVs. We will switch it out for you. So that way you're not worried about, wow, it's going to take me six weeks to get in. Right. Absorption. Get it looked at. So yep. that way we just... We take care of you right away, which is cool. amazing. It's absorption. Yeah. I was wondering what I'm like. Yeah. Cool. Um, continue on. Amazing couch. By the way, huge shout out for General RV, which is like A+. Plus. <laughs> we have a nice couch. I mean, anybody could sit here. We have this that goes up. So you have a three-seater love seat here, which my is favorite. amazing. Yes. My favorite. You know, do you mind holding the camera for Will? Absolutely. We like you, Jack. You, you know, we need, you yeah. know, we need, we need me and Will sitting here. We got <laughs> an amazing roomy booth dinette here. Yep. As you see, we have nice guys up here. I mean, he's tall. Nice. What do you mean, we like have nice Matt. Size? Like yeah. Nice size? I mean, you guys are nice horse. size, and it's still roomy. You guys are still roomy, right? Very nice. You know. Nice your facts. <laughs> no, not like that. Continue on. No, we do have the nice uh, TV here that you would place here with the little entertainment center. Yep. Not many places have the seaport. All of our chargers now have yeah. that seaport USB. Yep. So we have a USB and a seaport here, mm. which is amazing. Um, then we have the bedroom. We have a queen size bed for campers. We have a little closet storage here on the other side as well. And then we also have storage underneath. Wow, very nice. Yeah, and it's hydraulic, so you don't have to hold on to it. As you see, I have a damaged hand and I still wear, opened it up with one hand. Perfect. And again, guys, Jackie is going to be at the Fort Myers store full time once the store is finally open. I mean, we're talking in the next. February what? 1st? February. Yeah, February. So we're talking five, six, seven days away. Yeah. By the time you're watching this video, I mean, the store's going to be open. Jackie, how do you want people to get in contact with you if they want to come down to Fort Myers and work with you directly? Um, they could come in, ask for me, or there'll, there'll be cards there for with my name on it and my cell phone, so they could always reach out to me. Do you I mind think. giving your cell phone? Yeah, like, I you mean, don't have to. No, I'm I'm Because, okay you know, that. once you enter the YouTube world, there is going to be some yeah. weirdos. Back up, weirdos. <laughs> That's fine. My number is 239, area code 464-6012. You could text me and let me know what's going on and what RV you want, and I can help you with and that. And schedule, schedule with her, make an appointment, you know what I'm saying? Or if you do reach out to one of my internet team, Becky or one of the other people, and you do plan on coming down to the Fort Myers store, ask for Jackie, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you like her and if you want to work with her. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, this is the world of YouTube. You can be the sweetest peach on the tree. Some people don't like peaches. It's okay. Yep. Some, yeah. some prefer oranges, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Hey, you're welcome. Thank don't you. Don't forget you your smoothie. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, we got some more. Okay. Units. We got a Springdale coming on down here. Uh, we got some of these awesome clippers. Yeah. So let's take a look at this 293 right here. A rear kitchen, another rear kitchen. Yep, 29.9. Okay. Fantastic. This is beautiful as well. This is. And look at this. This one, I mean, the lights are on, but they're still very low. Yeah, and it's so light and bright it's in so here. It's so bright in here. These and it's funny we're saying that because, like, look at these cabinets. They're dark cabinets, dark you know? Dark cabinets, exactly. But to have it this light and bright and open and spacious and everything, this is absolutely fantastic. Yep. We do have nice uh, refrigerator right here, a dinette that drops down. Yep. You know, awesome seats with a sofa. Right Huge there. window right there. Nice. I guess that's a trifold. Uh, yes. yes okay. Yes. And then here's where that TV would go. You know how I knew that? How? It's this sticker on the side right there. Oh yeah, that would give it away. Perfect. Continue on. Okay. Night. A very big shower in here. Yep. These lights are really going crazy. Yeah. Good sink space, plastic toilet, but in a good position. What's funny is this is considered an entry level travel trailer, right? Yeah. And it's very nice on the inside. And you got nice storage up top and on both sides. You can put the second AC unit in. Again, it's entry level, so they're trying to keep that price point down, so leaving it as an option. Really good size closet. And then queen size bed, you got power and USB on that side and then power on this side and you do have a little laundry chute. Perfect, and then we're gonna wrap it up with uh, 
some of these small ones? Yeah, two more units. We're gonna try to go up as far as we can. They do have some music playing. Okay. But now, this is the better than the 10. Yes. This is 18999, it's a Clipper 12.0. Yeah, this is as far as we're going, because that music's really loud. Okay. But, check this out, Will. Man, this it's unit, got a shower. Dude, this is the unit when your kids are in Boy Scouts and yep. you're going on a tenting <laughs> trip and you just want some AC in an actual bed. Right. Oh, it does have an AC. That's, yes. that's look, awesome. Look, let me climb in. Wow. I'm not going to climb in because I no, feel like the good. tongue weight. Um, you have a toilet here, a little sink area. You know what I'm saying? A little sitting area. Yep. If you're a, a short king like me, you can stand up in here no problem. There you go. And then, you know, when it's bedtime, you just roll on over, you know what I'm saying? No, I love it because you have a bed, you have AC. And you get this AC sucker blowing oh, right yeah. your face. A shower in the morning or at night, and you know, you got plenty of snacks and whatnot. I, I actually really like this. You know, if I was a, a camper, this is what yeah. I'd be camping with. No, this is cool, like, when you're ready to actually go camping, like, hey, I just want to find a spot in the mountains of Montana to chill yeah. and hang out with the bears for the and night. you don't want cell service. Yep. And you don't want the bears to rip you apart. Right, well, it's, is it's just a- Is in here, Will? I don't know, probably. I don't know, maybe not the hard wall, but you figure it out. I, I feel like they'd be too close to comfort if nothing else. All right. Did they shut the music they off? They did. Oh, well, we got a couple more units to look at then. Okay. And then look at this, Will. Mark John Cena. I don't know if I got the price on this one. MSRP twenty nine four nineteen, down to eighteen nine nine nine. Ten grand off. Oh, they got the music. Oh, that. yep. It was just so, in between songs. Yeah, let's just uh, check out this Clipper and I Rock. Okay. See, this is what, another thing that I like. It's even cheaper. It's fourteen nine nine nine. Yep. You have this awesome rear kitchen, and well, a bear's definitely not getting in here. Right. Now here's something that I do like, Will. For me personally, <laughs> this I'm is a great. Okay in here. Yeah. You know, I can stand throughout the whole thing. I got a bed. I got a little furnace here. This is fantastic for me. I got a little seating area here. Okay. And I got a little place for the toilet. There you go. So no shower in this one, even though it's bigger. That's funny. Well, there's a curtain. Or oh, yeah, no, that curtain's yeah, not. No, no, no. I bet you it is. Look, that. No. No. I mean, there's a handle there. Try oh, to pull okay. that handle. See what okay. it does. No shower pan? No. Yeah, you're not showering in here. No. It is A-OK, -okay, Will. But still, that is so cool to have like that. You got your little AC unit, little seat. Now, Will, come on into my home. Okay. Into my hobbit home. Yeah, if you're somebody like Will. Yeah. Will, what's the matter? It's short. Oh, yeah? Think you're so good at sports, huh? <laughs> Guys, that's it. That's the show. That's the Fort Myers RV show. Thank you to everybody who's been watching the Fort Myers RV show. Starting tomorrow, we are going back to normal RV reviews, okay? Yep. Um, make sure you guys drop a comment. Let us know if you're excited about the new Fort Myers store. If you're not excited about the Fort new Fort Myers store, what's your favorite brands that's going to be there? Is it going to be a Coachman, a Dutchman, a Keystone, an Alliance, or a Brinkley, or an Open Range? It's amazing, or Winnebago. I mean, it's amazing we just opened up business and we already have all these phenomenal brands right. that we're bringing to the Southwest Florida area. We got Jackie, who's going to be working at that store, who's absolutely a fantastic person. We got Shaq over there from Michigan coming down here to enjoy the warm weather. Whatever you need from General RV, feel free to reach out to us. Make sure you always get your mats cash, and then that way we'll make sure you guys get the absolute best price in America. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, thank you, Will, for filming. We'll see you guys next time.